Good afternoon. I am Aziz Makani. I'm the CEO and founder of Sports Cards and Games, and that's the umbrella company that I created in 2013. It was actually an epiphany that I had late in, uh, in the middle of the night to create a se series of products that would engage, entertain, and educate uh, families. I wanted to create a set of products that was moderately challenging. I didn't want to create anything that was really high pressure uh, strategy games like things. So I created something that was um, moderately, as I mentioned, moderately challenging set of products. Uh, and so the outcome of it is Kickshot Soccer Board Game and the associated per associated accessories. But before I get into the details of that, let me uh, first share a sincere apology for not being able to come here to join you, to meet with you guys individ and guys and gals, whomever are in the uh, team, to uh, uh, share with you my apology for not being able to come. I got double booked and I can get into a lot of details, but I'll spare the details from you. But uh, I feel greatly honored that you have taken on the project to do marketing uh, planning for Kickshot and sports cards and games. And I hope sincerely that this is a, a positive experience for you. So let me start with a uh, little bit of the company um, and uh, how uh, I plan to exit from the company. I started it in 2000. 12, actually, I conceived of the idea, and uh, 2012 and half of 2013 was involved in developing the product, the design of the product, the Kickshot Soccer board game, and the accessories. Um, and in 2013, mid-spring uh, mid of 2013, actually, uh, in May of 2013, came my first production units, and I introduced that at a soccer tournament up in Coeur d'Alene. So 2013 and 14 have been intensely uh, in the commercialization stage. I have been very active in the social media, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter um, have been my, my biggest focus. And I've also been fortunate enough to have met some excellent people who are currently contributing blogs to Kickshot that are bringing Kickshot uh, visitors to the Kickshot website from all over the world. Uh, when I meet with you, I can sh show you a, a report, Google Analytics report, that uh, lists people who are coming from all over the world to visit the Kickshot uh, website. Now, one of the challenges that I face uh, going forward is to convert, uh, get a higher percentage of conversion from those visitors all over the world. And uh, right now, I uh, Kickshot is in Amazon. I've had great success. In 2013 compared to 2014, I've seen an, uh, an increase of about 30%. And I've also um, been successful in penetrating some of the small to medium-sized retailers, mostly in the Northwest. I, I'm currently in a, a store in... Uh, in Texas, they're not doing a whole lot of business. But going forward, the challenge is, is for Kickshot to be able to penetrate what I call as institutional customers. My vision was for Kickshot to be in the educational market, also to license it across uh, MLS and some of the soccer organizations. Um, and because of my focus in penetrating the, the retail market, I have not made great strides in those markets. I have tried to contact the academics, but not um, made great progress in that area. So uh, to get back to my exit strategy, my plan was to stay with the company for five years until such time as I, I achieve a certain amount of uh, business, and then for me to find a, a larger partner that would license the, the products and uh, run with it. And the reason, obviously, is because as a as a sole company, you know, there's no possible way that I'm going to be able to reach the entire worldwide market that I 
potentially see for these products. So let me share with you what's, in, what's included in KickShot. KickShot includes a sock, uh, let me show, it, show first the box. And you can see these, and this is the front of the box, the back of the box. Inside the box contains a soccer board, and there are 11 what I call as zones across each half of the field. And uh, you can see the other half of the field as well. And what I have are what I call as action cards that look like these, and referee cards which look like these. And my objective, by the way, of uh, using animal characters was something what I call as social value. I wanted to provide, one of my mission was to provide social value through my products, through my companies. And the social value that I want to provide are for, for players to learn about animals. I also wanted to engage the university students, such as you guys, to work on your projects and gain some benefit out of uh, KickShot. And I've been able to, quite luckily, engage several university groups. I've had uh, two projects at LCSC, a small marketing project in the summer of 2013, and then subsequently a marketing plan that was created by a marketing team in uh, fall of 2013. And now uh, I'm fortunate enough to have you on board. At the University of Idaho, I'm engaged with the University of uh, Computer Science students as well as virtual technology students. Computer Science students have created a level one uh, on Google Play. And the, the lev there are three levels, by the way, of KickShot. And uh, the level one is the simplest level. And my plan is to offer that free. And currently, you can download it from the Android uh, Gameplay uh, Google Google Play and uh, and uh, experience KickShot that way. Um, other students have created. Here is a piece of art that was created for um, the holiday period, and that was done by a student at the University of Idaho Virtual Technology. Um, I've also been very very engaged with the local media. I have had uh, some excellent coverage of the art uh, of KickShot. In, uh, this was this was done by the Moscow Daily News of the uh, during the World Cup. This was done uh, by Lewis and Tribune of Kickshot uh, in the summer of 2014. And uh, also, I've had uh, some articles written in the national magazines. Here's one that has a distribution of 80,000 readership that uh, had a story on Kickshot. Um, right here you can see my picture um, so there are challenges ahead um, and I'm really happy that you are joining in to help me uh, you are coming to me in the midst of my five-year plan so it's really good for you to look back and see what I have achieved uh, what I have gained and what I have learned and what I need to do going forward so thank you very much for taking on the project I look forward to meeting each of you and uh, answering all your questions to your to your heart's delight. Uh, so you can reach me via email, phone call, Skype, Facebook, uh, excuse me, fa uh, FaceTime, and also um, through email and, and phone calls. I think I'm repeating myself, but you get my point. And I'm also happy to come down and meet with you guys and gals. So thank you again, and uh, best of luck to you in, in the semester.